Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for the Greeks, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to all of us. Um, I would want to, on behalf of the board of Ecobank, represented here by the board chair himself and the management of the bank, welcome each and every one of us to this evening's carol service. This is a special carol service. Why so special? It is because we began this year not knowing where we were going to end. The year has been full of turbulence, but God has seen us through. He's brought us this far, and I believe that we have the opportunity to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so I would want to welcome all of us. This is a special service for the Ecobank Group. We have here represented EDC. We have our e-process. Pan African, African Savings and Loans, and then Ecobank PLC. PLC. Let's put our hands together for ourselves. We will begin the program with a prayer by uh, the Deputy Managing Director of Pan African Savings and Loans in the person of Mr. Kwesi Budu. Let's put our hands together and welcome Kwesi to give us the opening prayer. Shall we be upstanding and share a word of prayer? Shall we pray? Almighty and everlasting Father, we are grateful and thankful unto you for the gift of life. We are alive by your grace and we say thank you. We entrust tonight's call service into your hands. We ask that you descend in our midst, take absolute control over everything we do here tonight. Father, may we be blessed. May our souls be blessed. May souls be won for you even as we sing the carols to your glory. And at the end of it all, may we be able to say that we came and were blessed. We thank you for answering our prayers because we prayed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please let's keep standing. We welcome the Evergreen Choir, the Echo Bank Choir. Please come up stage and come and lead us as we sing brightest and best. Let's welcome the choir. Let's put our hands together and welcome them. Please, we have the lyrics in the program, so you can sing along, please.
very much, Echo Choir. Please keep standing. Uh, please, congregation, you can sit down. Thank you very much. The choir will keep standing. We're going to take our first lesson. Now, as we go through these nine lessons, I pray that the light of hope in us will be kindled. For the first lesson, God announces in the Garden of Eden that the seed of the woman shall bruise the serpent's head. We are taking this lesson from Genesis chapter 3, verse 8 to 15. And to do as the honest is Mrs. Margaret Oswe Frier, finance manager, Maximus Limited. She's going to read the lesson for us. Let's put our hands together and welcome Mrs. Margaret Oswe Frier. After that, the Evergreen Echo Bank Choir will give us a carol. Our first lesson is taken from Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 to 15. Genesis 3, 8 to 15. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree I commanded you not to eat from? Then the man said, The man, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some of the fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all the livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offsprings and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. The word of the Lord. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for her as she takes her seat. The Evergreen Choir. Please, over to you.
peace on earth, goodwill to men. Let's put our hands together for the Evergreen Echo Bank Choir as they take their seats. We move on and we're going to take our second lesson. In our second lesson, God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. This reading is from Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. We're going to call on our colleague, Deanda Helen, head of command center, e-process, to read this for us about Fessa en Francais. Let's put our hands together for her as she comes. After her, technolo technology choir, please be ready. You give us a carol. du Seigneur appela Abraham du ciel une seconde fois et dit « Je le jure par moi-même, oracle du Seigneur, parce que tu as fait cela et tu n'as pas épargné ton fils unique. Je m'engage à te bénir et à faire proliférer ta descendance autant que les étoiles du ciel » et le sable au bord de la mer. Ta descendance occupera la porte de ses ennemis. C'est en elle que je bénirai. C'est en elle que se béniront toutes les nations de la terre parce que tu as écouté ma voix. Parole du Seigneur. Amen. Let's put our hands together for her. Please technology quoi Please come up stage. For all those who did not understand what she read, please see me pay 100 CDs and I'll interpret for you. Amen. Let's welcome the technology choir. Merry Christmas, everyone. Or is it too early? Um, this is a technology choir. Um, we wanted to do the administration through some APIs, but you know we had to come here ourselves. <laughs> um, we, we, we dedicate we dedicate this administration to Dr. Thomasin Fashina, who who is exiting the bank tomorrow. And he has been our patron. He has been of immense support to us over the years. He always makes sure that we are, we are nicely clothed. So thank you so much, Dr. Fashna. We want to celebrate the living word who was born in the manger to save humanity. Hallelujah. Amen. Things you were on earth are 
Hallelujah. The song is a popular one, so if you can be on your feet to dance the glory of God, that will be so great.
technology qua for that powerful ministration. I guess even though carol services are supposed to be solemn assembly and all that, but you know some of the songs you cannot be sitting down. You just have to let God know that you appreciate what he has done for you. At least you can move your legs, you can shake your body small and appreciate him for all that he's done. Amen. We're going to have our fourth lesson for a good reason. I know some of us are following the program. Skipping fourth lesson. Now, in the fourth lesson, it says that it talks about the peace that Christ will bring to the earth when he is born. I want to read a scripture from Isaiah 9, verse 6. It says that for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Amen. We invite our sister, Efua Apia Yeboa, Account Manager, Commercial Banking, to read for us the fourth lesson from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. Let's welcome Efua. In fact, let me warn you, she'll be reading in Chinese. So please, get yourselves. Messiah 某乐的灵和能力的灵，这是的灵和敬畏耶和华的灵，他必以敬畏耶和华为乐。Isaiah chapter eleven, verses one to nine. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse, from his roots. A branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goats the calf and the lion and the yearling together and the little child will lead them the cow will feed the bear their young will lie down together and the lion will eat straw like the ox the infants will play near the cobra's den and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest they will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our sister. Let's put our hands together for her. As we welcome the Evergreen Ecobank Choir, I've been told it's a global choir because we have our colleagues from Guinea, Ecobank Guinea, 
as part of the choir. Let's put our hands together and welcome them once again. This is going to be a congregational hymn, so we are all going to be upstand, and then we will sing together. Please, let's be on our feet. Thank you very much. much thank you very much let's put our hands together for the choir echo bank choir the evergreen echo bank choir 
please let's take our seats let's take our seats indeed for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the lord as the waters cover the sea amen we're taking our faith lesson and it's from the book of luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 the angel gabriel salutes the blessed virgin mary we put our hands together and welcome our brother Kenneth Akwey, a national service person with the internal control unit, to read for us. Let's put our hands together and welcome him. After that, there will be a jazz session by the group's mayor. Good evening, all. Good evening. So, our free Bible lesson. I will be taking from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. And I read, In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be a great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and who will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdoms will never come to an end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in a safe month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the servant, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Let's put our hands together for our brother Ken. Mary asked how shall this be and the angel answered the spirit of the lord shall overshadow you may the spirit of the lord overshadow all of us amen we take a jazz from the group's man
put our hands together for the goose man. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. We we'll quickly go back and take our third lesson. After that, we'll go back to our sixth lesson. The third lesson is about the birth and the kingdom of Christ, which are predicted. And the reading is from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2 to 7. Let's welcome our sister Edna Ahonu, Senior Portfolio Manager, EDC Ghana. Let's put our hands together and welcome her. After that, please, Investment Choir backstage. Our third lesson is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, from verse 2 to verse 7. Let's hear the word of God. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. You have multiplied the nation and increased its joy. They rejoice before you according to the joy of the harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For you have broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every warrior's sandal from the noisy battle, the engarments rolled in blood, will be used for burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a, a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, in, to order it and establish it with justice and, and judgment. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this, the word of the Lord. Amen. Indeed, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. Let's put our hands together for our sister Edna and welcome the investment choir. Hello. Hi. 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 It's another year. It's another season. We are glad for the good tidings and we bid you all a Merry Christmas. On a holy night like this, many years ago, unto us a Savior was born, unto us a Son was given. We are here in remembrance of that day. Because for without that day, I do believe that none of us would be here today. Do you agree with me? Amen. Amen. Hey. 
hands together for the investment choir. We thank God for such a beautiful choir. Amen. We're taking our set lesson, and it's from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. And it tells of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With a round of applause, let's welcome Patience Queen Kamasa, Internal Control Manager, Pan-African Savings and Loans. Let's put our hands together for her. And please, Pan-African Choir, be ready. Amen. you along with me to the Volta region, if I'm permitted. We are going to say something in a way. Please, can we do that? All right. So, I'm going to say something, and you will respond, Mauna no anyiklemi. It's not difficult at all. Can we do that? Mauna no anyiklemi. Can we take it again? Perfect. So when I say um, what I'm going to say in a way, then you respond. Then after that, I'll give you what you have just said, the interpretation. Okay, so we just said, I said, peace be unto you. And you responded, God be with us. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adelia to Nyanue, look up at Agbelemi. Look up at Agbele. Ta Evelia, Big Big Banto, Vasede Adrelia. Look up at Eta Evelia, Big Big Banto, Vasede Adrelia. Yes, Didi. Minamia se mau pe enya. Le unkeke mau mela. Roma Siaga Augusto de Bebe Wahle a Messi Woka Tale Hekiame Angolo Angolo Ope Agbosso Sodi Wawa Ame Hekle Wawa Ame Hekle Batosia Esime Kirenu Nye Mome Fiale Sivia Ame Siame Yi Wode Be Wahle Yi Angolo Di Ale Yosef Ha Tole Nazareth Dula Ne Galilea, Judea, de David Pedusi woyonabe Bethlehem lame. Joseph yi afima alebe David pe jidimevi onye. E ya kle Maria, epe ungbe doto, epe ungbe doto, sinye funo lai yibe wakle ye wo. E si wo le afima la, Maria pe vidi yido, Eji won to vi sinye epe ngogbe vi e hacha avode e won he to e mlo afisi wo da la wo pe ndudu dola e la be o me po tepele amejuro jefela o eji won to vi sinye epe ngogbe vi e hacha avode e won he to e mlo afisi wo da la wo pe Dora Elabe Womekpo Tepele Amedro Jepela Sienye Thank you very much. Patience, let's put our hands together for our sister and welcome to the stage the Pan African choir.
another round of applause for the Pan African Savings and Loan Square. God bless you so much. We move on. We are taking our seventh lesson. The shepherds go to the manger. Um, it will be read from the book of Luke, chapter 2, 8 to 16. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome to the pulpit, uh, Pastor Bartholomew Agbanyo, Executive Pastor, Harvest Missions Chapel, Assemblies of God, Tema Community One. Let's put our hands together for him. Praise Please, the, compliance choir, be ready. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not happy that today you are alive? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to hear your voice. Praise the Lord. If you are blessed to be here this evening and that you are part of this program, let me hear your voice once again. Praise the Lord. God bless you. That is better. I want to declare to you tonight that a year by this time, 14th December 2024, you'll be alive. You'll be part of the living. Hallelujah. I am not saying this in my name or in my authority, but with all authority in Christ Jesus, the giver of life, I say that you'll be alive. Your children will live. Hallelujah. God bless you. It's a service of God. Tell my community 11, not community 1. Amen. And so, I have my brother here, a pastor, a colleague from the same church, Pastor Jonah J. Hallelujah. God bless you for coming with me. Amen. I want to thank the organizers, especially my only sister, Madam Magdalene, for giving me this opportunity to stand before you. Amen. Let's take our seventh lesson from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 8, reading to verse 16. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said unto them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace be to, do, to those on whom his favor is rest. Verse 15. When the angels had left, the, has left them and God in, gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see these things that, it, that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Verse 16. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together. And thank you very much, Pastor. And let's welcome the Compliance Choir. The Compliance Choir is the latest choir in the bank, the newest choir in the bank, the youngest choir in the bank, but they are so committed and dedicated. We expect that this choir will continue to grow. Please encourage them. Put your hands together for them so that they can minister. Give it up. Oi. Give it up. Compliance, we are here. In fact, head of compliance has lost his voice, so he cannot sing. So he will stand by them to give them moral support. Yes.
Can you please be on your feet? Compliance Choir is in the building. hands together once again for the compliance choir. They've done so well. So, so well. We are trusting God that a year by this time, their number would have increased. And then they will minister powerfully. Amen. We thank God for what he is doing in our lives. Now we're going to take our eighth lesson from the book of Matthew um, chapter 2 from verses 1 to 12. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now, this reading will be taken by an astute lawyer, a senior associate of uh, Okujedo, Okujeto and Associates. He's in the person of lawyer Adam Kojodo Okujeto. Let's put our hands together and welcome lawyer Okujeto. Please, Evergreen Echo Bank be ready to minister after the reading. Bible reading is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 1 to 12. I'll be reading from the New International Version. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them, 
where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time that the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herald, they returned to their country by another route. Here ends the lesson. Let's put our hands together for Lawyer Kujeto. Thank you very much. And when our enemies plot against us, may the Lord dream us. Give us dreams so that we can outwit them. Amen. Let's welcome to the podium the Evergreen Egoban Choir. They will give us um, a carol, and after that, we take our ninth lesson.
hands together for the Evergreen Echo Bank Choir. At this juncture, we're going to take our last reading, the ninth lesson, and it's um, from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. And it unfolds the great mystery of the incarnation. To read for us, we have in our midst our own Mr. George Mensa Asante, the former managing director of Echo Bank Liberia. Let's put our hands together and welcome Mr. George Mensa Asante. I didn't know I was coming to read, so I didn't bring my Liberia Bible. <laughs> so I'm going to read in Ghana English Bible. Please, shall we be upstanding as we read the ninth lesson? The ninth lesson is taken from the gospel according to John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. God unfolds the great mystery of the incarnation. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, in him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Verse 14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. This end, the end of the ninth reading. Let's be to God. Let's put our hands together for George. Please, let's take our seats. The choir will give us a medley. This song was written by one of our own, Mama Rosa. Let's put our hands together for her. Jesus, 
for them as they file off the stage. Thank you very much, Evergreen Echo Bankwa. If I allow you, you will not finish today. So let's move on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for them as they take their seats. and dwelt amongst us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth amen we've come to the end of our nine lessons we're going to take a message from our acting managing director and the person of Ms. Joanna Mesa. let's put our hands together and welcome Lady J as we all call her Customers of Echo Bank, the board chairman of Echo Bank Ghana, board of directors who may be online, they are not here seated, managing directors of e process, EDC, Pan African Savings and Loans, Price and other singing groups here present, ladies and gentlemen, executive directors. Former executive directors, we have two in our midst, so let me acknowledge them. And also former colleagues, Echo Bankers, and all colleagues here present. Good evening, once again. I stand before you tonight with a heart full of gratitude and spirit filled with the warmth of the season of Christmas. The end and the, in, at the year end and the new year. At Echo Bank, the annual carol service is not just an occasion to remember and celebrate the birth of Christ and the joy that comes with joining the choir and singing melody of songs in a well-decorated and lightened atmosphere. It is also an occasion for sending gifts to loved ones and customers and giving thanks to God Almighty for his goodness. It is also a time for reflection on how we survived the turbulence of the business environment over time. The joy with which the various choirs sang and danced lightened us up and brought us great joy and happiness. And this is a testament to the fact that we are triumphant. We are triumphed over all difficulties and challenges and emerged victorious as individual families and as a bank. We therefore have a, every reason to be thankful to the Almighty God for seeing us through the year 2023. In the past few years, the COVID pandemic, the global economic environment have posed severe challenges to all nations and negatively impacted business performance. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia in February 2022 came with its challenges and adversely affected markets, supply chains, trade, and economic stability. Inflation in our markets rose to a high 54.1% at the close of that year. 
We enter 2023 with inflationary pressures, but thankfully, this has reduced gradually to 35.2% in October this year. The Domestic Debt Exchange Program, DDEP, rolled out by the government of Ghana, affected most financial service providers, particularly banks. Our customers were also greatly impacted by the macroeconomic environment. As a bank, for the first time, we recorded negative profits for the full year of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023. We thank God that we have subsequently recovered and returned to profitability since June 2023. We have every reason to bless and appreciate God for his guidance and for walking us through these turbulent years. It is indeed true that with God all things are possible. There is a need for us to reflect and renew our commitment to supporting our customers to grow their businesses and for us to continue to contribute to the economic development of our nation. The holiday season must be seen as a time for sober reflection, a time for unity, compassion, and hope. We must reassure ourselves that the spirit of collaboration, dedication of duty, and caring for each other is all we need to keep going. Let us embrace the festive spirit with a sense of togetherness, recognizing that by working hand in hand, we can overcome obstacles and build a brighter future for all. May the joy of the season fill your hearts and, and homes with warmth. On behalf of the board and management of our dear bank, Ecobank, I extend my heartfelt wishes to you all. I wish you all Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for our acting managing director. Yes, let's put our hands together for her. We thank God for how far he's brought us. Indeed, God has been good to us. We'd like to acknowledge um, um, in our midst the board chair of Ecobank Ghana, and the person of Mr. Please, Mr. Ashte is with us. You are welcome, sir. Dr. Thompson, when um, the technology choir was singing, in fact, the songs were dedicated to you. They expressed their appreciation to you for how far you have supported them, clothed them, encouraged them, and brought them this far. So on their behalf, and on behalf of all of us, we want to acknowledge you for all that you've done for us. Let's put our hands together, together for Dr. Thomason for the good work he's done for us. God bless you so much. We also have in our midst our own Mr. Morgan Esiedu. Ag <laughs> Morgan, you are welcome. Yes. We've already introduced George because he read for us. Aha. Uh -huh. The managing director of Pan African Savings and Loans, Madame Emilia Desire. <laughs> Emilia, you are welcome. Let's put our hands together for her once again. And um, to all of us, thank you so much for coming. But I've been told that last year, you know, we put the for the offering, we have the code at the back of the invites. But I've been told that last year we did not scan. So this year we are not going home without scanning. And since we are digital, I didn't want to bring an offering bowl in the middle. Or should I bring the offering bowl? So we will scan. We are in the presence of God. So I believe that we will all scan. Amen. God bless you all. But please start scanning. So it's offering time. Please start scanning. I am looking at all of us. Please start scanning.
is the terminal ID. It's a one four seven. It's at the back of there. Please, are we good? Oh no, please, then I need the offering basket. Some are saying, okay, let me mention the terminal ID, take it and then please can. 147, yes, 654, 166. Somebody will say, I repeat again. 147 654 166. Please scan. 147 654 166. On this note, I would want to welcome um, Pastor Bartholomew Agbanyo. First of all, I'm taking you by surprise. Forgive me. You give us the closing prayer and then the benediction. After that, there will be music, so those who want to dance, please, you can dance. Amen. Let's put our hands together and welcome Pastor Bartholomew Agbanyo. Hallelujah. Shall we be upstanding as we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We appreciate this gathering. We appreciate your presence. And we know that, Lord, we are in your will for your plans for next year. We are here, Father, to say that, Lord, we thank you for watching over us, Lord. This journey wasn't by might, by strength, by power, by money, by authority. We are here by grace. And we believe that by grace, next year we should excel. Father, all of us here are the sound of my voice. I declare that, Father, life and mercy that we all need to survive in the coming year, in the coming season, be granted to all of us, even our children, our household. None of us will die. I declare the Father, oh God, by the end of this year, we will testify the new season that Lord, you will release into our life your blessings in good health, in everything that we shall do, we will excel. I therefore pray that even as we go home, take good care of us. Prepare our mind. Prepare our heart to be ready for the things that you are about to do in our life. Things that we have not seen. Things that we have not even dreamt of. We know that we are your children. You will surprise us on 25th of December with Christmas gifts. And we shall celebrate with our family with joy. We thank you, Father, for this season has ended. A year by this time, Lord, we shall gather here once again to count your blessings and to say that, Father, we can't finish it. And we shall celebrate once again and thank you and appreciate you. So even as you go home, may the Lord go with you. May the Lord bless you and bless your family at home. Everything that you need to celebrate this Christmas, may God grant all of this unto you. I will see you again next year. We shall celebrate to thank God. Even in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we put the hands together for Jesus? Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. And um, our own Paul and Adam, thank you very much for representing. God bless us all. Please, the program has come to an end. But you can still stay and enjoy the music. God bless you all.
Thank you.